Hello, now in today's video, we are going to be fixing a problem that we're having. Now we've got a back gate and it slams and Mrs. Hakes does not like the back gate slamming. So what we're going to do is install this, which is an automatic gate closer and uh, hopefully stop the back gate slamming. Fingers crossed at least. So uh, let's go upstairs and take this out of the box, have a little look at it and then get it installed. So uh, yeah, let's go up there. So what is this gadget that will stop the back gate banging issues? Well, it is this. Let me show you it. Now I got it from Amazon. Um, I think it was around about 50 pounds. I'll put the details in the description. So what we've got, we've got some screws. Assume to fix it to the gate. We've got some more screws. And there we go. This is the guy. Got some installation instructions for our gate closer. Excellent. So it is specifically designed for T hinges and butt hinges. <laughs> so that is uh, absolutely perfect because we have got T hinges on our gate. So look, it helpfully tells us which end is which. This end is mounts on the post and this end is what mounts on the gate. And there on the top is the adjustment for the speed. We don't want to sort of make this slam the gate shut because that is just sort of, that defeats the point of this. So we want a nice slow close if possible. Now it's interesting that we've got two different types of screw. I don't know what these screws are. They're kind of funny. They've got like odd ends on them. Don't know what they are. And these are your more traditional screws. And it says in the instructions, you must keep the hold pin in until it's actually installed. Um, and also I read that if you want to return this, you can't do so if this pin has been pulled out. So make sure it's all installed properly before you take the pin out. So we need to make sure that it's mounted 222 millimeters away from here to the edge of the gate. I must admit, the instructions are a bit vague. It's talking about this guide roller but it doesn't seem overly clear where it goes. It seems you take the guide roller out somehow, but... Ah, and secure the guide roller to the gate. Ah, so it seems that this guide roller unscrews and should be mounted onto the gate to pop off the end cover. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I don't think the instructions are particularly good, so uh, hopefully, this can uh, help you over the instructions. I think what the most sensible thing to do would be just to go downstairs and fix it on the gate and try and work it all out together. Let's do that. So uh, I think it's going to be mounted here with the uh, screw plate fixed onto the post here. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just work out roughly the center of this and uh, draw a straight line because we've got to measure our 222 millimeters from here to, well, probably about there. So uh, let's do a nice straight line. There we go, I would say that's straight. Yeah, that'll do. And then we've got to measure 220 mil from here to up here. So our roller is going to be attached about there. So that's where I'll drill a hole for it. And then we need to work out where it's going to be screwed in over here. So if we offer it up, so I think it's going to be about there. So I'll just mark some holes. I would use the marksman, but it's fairly light wood, so the holes are nice and easy to see. Now that is in line with the pivot of the hinges. Let's just put a pencil line there and there to help us keep it offered up. I would say my mark I've made isn't in the best place because even though it said 222 mils, 
the uh, alignment dots are actually a little bit further back. So I'm going to say it should go about here. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Right, so we've got to get this wheel off here. And I think to do that, we've got to pop off the end of this. So uh, might need a screwdriver. Yep, there we go, that's off. And uh, we can get this wheelie guy out and that's going to go on our mark about there. It's got one of those weird screws like um, the ones in the bag upstairs. I wonder if it's some sort of self-tapping thing for woods. I've not seen one like that before. I assume so, anyway. But what I think I'm gonna do anyway on all of these holes, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole um, because I don't want the wood splitting, which is quite likely. Right, I think I'm just gonna do the diagonal ones for now. So once we've got it all roughly squared up, I can just drill these exactly where they should be because there might be some wiggle needed. So I think we need to get this uh, guide roller mounted first. Start it gently off with a screwdriver. And then once it's going where it should be, then we can uh, use the electric screwdriver. if it only if it limits how far it goes in maybe oh that could be it you know might not need screwing right down into the wood so it gives us a little bit of play okay right, we'll get these started off by hand position roughly. Right, so now we can pop the end cap back on. Perfect. Drill these pilot holes where they should be. just have to open the gate a little bit oh, look and the pin comes out bingo now before we continue I'm just going to show you something over here now this little bolt comes out and if you want the gate to be held open you can take this bolt out and then screw it into there and that's the hold open mode I don't know if we'll use that um, but yeah, that's what this little bolt's for. This just pops out and you can pop it in the hole there. Tighten it up and then it will hold the gate open. Okay, so now it's fully installed. We have two speeds of closing that we need to think about. Now there's the actual closing speed, which is the first part of the close, and then the latching speed, which is the second part of the close. Now let's show you that in action. So there's the closing speed and then there's the latching speed. And I'm actually pretty happy with that. It doesn't slam back at you. And the latching speed is very gentle at the end. So that stops the bang. Now, if you do need to alter the speed, it's done with the adjustment screw there, as I said earlier in the video. Now you have to do a quarter turn each time you want to adjust it. So don't go crazy because you'll probably pull out the screw and ruin the mechanism. So if you want to make it close faster, you turn it anti-clockwise. And if you want to make it go slower, you turn it clockwise. And remember, quarter turn each time. Now to change the closing speed, you have to have the gate open and do the adjustment with the gate open. So, uh, should we make it close a little faster? So that is an anti-clockwise turn. 
water turn. So now that will actually close faster. Now to adjust the latch speed, you have to have the gate closed and then do the same thing. So it's same again, anti-clockwise to make it faster, clockwise to make it slower. So uh, let's slow that back down. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. So we have solved Mrs. Haig's back gate slamming problem with this relatively inexpensive device. As I said earlier in the video, it costs around 50 pounds from Amazon. And uh, I think it's going to prove very useful. It's, you know, we use the back gate for access, especially when we're taking the dog out for a walk. So to have it not slam so hard, it's gonna be one of those little things that makes life a little bit sweeter, a little bit calmer little less loud. So if this video has been helpful to you in any way, then please do give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Do you have any alternative solutions to stop back gate banging? I would love to hear them. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to join the channel, then you can do. Just click the join button down below and you can join the channel from 99p a month. And joining the channel just basically helps it grow and I can afford to buy slow gate closers, you know, and all the other stuff you see on this channel. So if you want to support me that way, then please do consider joining. And a special shout out for David for joining at one of the higher tiers. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much, David. Hmm. So yeah, if you've got any other comments, then do drop them below. But don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.